Sorry. I'm just gonna kind of like just. Yay! So it says Yana's first rodeo. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be prepping for my daughter's first birthday. Her theme is first rodeo. So this is going to be so much fun. It's going to be a ton of DIY projects. And also I am going to insert clips of the actual party towards the end of the video. So stick around for that. But if you're not subscribed, go ahead and click that subscribe button, like this video and turn on your post notifications so you can see more uploads from me. So let's jump right into this video. Now getting into the first project are the centerpieces. I knew I wanted these centerpieces to be simple but still made some type of statement and just cute. So I found these mason jars at Walmart. A dozen came in a box for $11 and I just took some chalk paint. First I wiped it down with alcohol and then I took the chalk paint, did two coats of that. I had to wait two hours in between each coat um, and then apply, you know, the second coat. After that, I went in with a clear top coat. Now, honestly, I feel like I could have done without the clear top coat because it made it a little bit difficult to sand some of that chalk paint off. And honestly, too, since I was only using it for one day, I really don't think I necessarily needed the clear top coat, but lesson learned. So after I got done sanding down the mason jars, to add an extra detail, I wanted to take some twine and wrap it around the top of the mason jar and then tied it into a cute little bow. And so for the day of the party i just added baby's breath and then the pictures that i took for her first birthday photo shoot if you guys haven't seen that video i'll link it right here you can check that out and it just looks so cute so rustic and perfect for the party so i found this box at hobby lobby so i'm gonna decorate this i'm gonna just put cards on the front and then i have some little what is i don't even know what these are called i got them from hobby lobby it's a little horse the hat boots so what i'm doing is painting it this star was yellow at first but i'm painting it pink what i'm also going to do is paint the little red stars too and i'm paint those pink and i'm also going to paint this um yellow star on the hat and i'm thinking about even giving the horse like some pink highlight i thought that would be really cute Right here I'm showing you guys how I made the stencils for the letters cards and basically I'm just using the same font that's going on the food table and the water and hose signs I'm just using all the same font and I just took a white piece of paper taped it to my computer and then I just changed the color to black so I can see through the paper and then just traced it also used a pencil so it's easier for me to erase if I need to and go back over things and this is how it turned out and after that I just took a old makeup brush and I took that same color pink that I'm using for everything else and just started to paint the letters and that was pretty much it this was so simple really easy I was kind of nervous because I was like how can I make this look you know like western letters because I honestly I don't have that good of a penmanship to make a western font on my own so I was happy I kind of thought of this and after I got done painting everything with that solid paint then I took some of that chalk paint and just did little lines over the letters just to kind of make it look a little bit more rustic and then I cut the letters out and then glued it onto the box it looks pretty good it kind of looks I definitely like it because it looks more like rustic I added some of the white matte paint to it from the mason jars and it looks pretty good, period. So right now I decided to do a trim of the bandana around the top of the box. So I'm just measuring where I need to cut, cutting it out, and then I just hot glued it to the box. And then after that, I just took some Elmer's glue and just glued down the letters and also hot glued the, sorry, that's Yana. And then I just hot glued the cowboy hat, the boots, and the horse to the box. And that was it.
Okay, y'all, so here is her card box. So it's just something simple, nothing like too much. I did do the trim of the bandana going around the box. I put um, a boot on this side and then the horse on that side. You see the pink highlights? Ah, so cute. And as you can see, it's like kind of like distressed a little bit, which I liked. I didn't want it to look like too perfect um, or anything. And so I like it. All right, you guys, so now it's time for me to bake the cookies. So. I'm following this recipe that I found on TikTok, and let me just tell you guys, it never fails me. I've been using this recipe for at least the beginning of the year. I think that's when I found it, and it is just so freaking good. It is, oh my God, the cookies just always turn out so perfect, and if you guys want to try this recipe, I will leave it down in the description box, so check that out. Make sure you follow it to a T, okay? And your cookies will be so good. But anyway, I'm so happy I decided to just bake some cookies for the party. I thought this would be really nice to have homemade and everybody loved these cookies. Like I got so many compliments on these cookies. So I'm happy I went with this route because I was contemplating if I wanted to buy the cookies, you know, that's like designed really pretty with the names and then the cutouts and all that stuff. But I was like, I should just save some money and just make them myself. Because one, I knew it was going to be a big turnout. So I wanted to make sure that everybody at least had a chance to get at least one cookie. And two, who's not about saving money, okay? <laughs> so I made two batches of cookies because I wanted to make sure that I had enough for everyone. And then I just freezed it until it was time for the party. And this worked out so perfect because the night before the party, I just baked them. And my sister helped me bag them up. And that was it. So we made it to St. Louis. I didn't vlog, you know, the actual trip because you guys seen us drive to St. Louis numerous times already. So I was like, let's just skip that. So my mom and I are putting the thank you stickers on the cookie bags and it says thank you for celebrating with us. I got both the bag and the stickers from Amazon. And then after that, I was showing my mama how to do the biker shuffle dance for the party and she still didn't do it. Shame on her. <laughs> Following that, I had to cut out the food labels for the dessert table and the food table. And that was pretty much it for this night. Don't put it in your mouth, side, okay? Okay. <laughs> he said, okay. <laughs> My nephew was so funny. His favorite words were, yeah, and okay. That's all he kept saying. So right now, I am going down Yana's milestone sign. I got this off of Etsy. Pretty much all the personalized stuff with her name and everything came from Etsy. And I got that foam board from Walmart. I just painted it pink. I had another idea for it, but I didn't like the way it was looking, so I just skipped it. I cut the edges of the board to kind of give it more like a French look, and that's how I did that. Since we don't live home, I thought this would be better so people can kind of get to know Yana a little bit more, kind of see like what she likes, what she don't like, um, and things like that. Today is Yana's birthday, so let's go surprise her. I'm gonna say you. Yana! Oh. <laughs> Yana! Happy birthday, mommy! Happy birthday! Happy birthday! Happy birthday. Yay! This your balloon! <laughs> yeah! Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Yana. Happy birthday to you. Yay! Go blow, go, go, go. go like this. Go like this. Go one, two, yay! Sunshine. Yay. I gotta check this out. <laughs> you like it? And look, Mama. Look. Look at this, Yana. Look. Ooh. <laughs> Hold on. I'm going to have my niece be in charge of doing the favor bags. Yana is sleepy, so I'm gonna try to put her down for her nap. Um, so I'm just gonna show her what to do so I don't have to do it. I did wanna do it myself, but 
again you guys i'm learning to kind of like let go let people help me because i cannot do this all by myself <laughs> since i'm gonna have a pinata i'm not gonna do a lot of candy candy bags because i just don't want to od over on candy uh, for the kids so i'm doing just like little favors and i'll probably throw some pieces of candy but not a lot maybe like two or three pieces of candy in a bag when i go to the store and get the candy so basically what's going to be in there is some silly straws some bubbles some little horse stickers where they can make like little faces or whatever and then a little coloring sheet so it says yana's first rodeo london's going to put that in their bags This is the night before the party. I pulled an all-nighter. I was up to about 5 a.m. blowing up balloons, doing cookies, doing cake pops. You will see all the things, but it was worth it. Here we go, the first batch. Angel is bagging them up for me. And they turned out so good. We tasted one of them. And then I just have to bake these. And then I'm gonna do another cake for some cake pops. So right now I am making the carrots for the horses, aka the cheese puff balls. So basically I seen this off of Pinterest and you just take the little cheese balls, put them in one of those bags, take some green tissue paper, stuff it inside the top of the bag and then just tie it around and that's it. Okay, so right now I am getting ready to make the cake pops. Y'all know I've been practicing these cake pops for quite some time. I had made a batch for myself and Dexter and I actually gave some or I took some over to my friend for her and her kids. Um, and then I made some for my sister's birthday back in July when I went back home and now it's the time. Like I was like, okay, it's game time. I have to make sure these are perfect. And I'm happy to say they were so good everybody liked them and i'm just so happy like y'all when i tell you i picked up so many new skills for this party i learned how to do so many things for this party it's so crazy but i truly love doing stuff like this i love being creative i love um trying new recipes and all the things it just brings me so much joy honestly like i cannot wait to do more parties <sighs> i'm just excited like i'm going to be the ultimate party mom get ready for more party content <laughs> so also this night i blew up the balloons because blowing up balloons takes forever and honestly with these balloons just the pink and brown ones they were double stuffed so they were way harder to tie so i'm just so happy i did them later that night and also my mom gave me some trash bags to put the balloons in to transport them to the park much easier so my mom got this cake pop stand from hobby lobby it's actually i have two of them that i'm gonna use and i'm gonna stand it up because i kind of want to do a stand it up instead of like face down so we'll see hopefully it works perfect and i love the fact that it have like little divots or a little um stopper because some of them like the ones off of amazon i seen it didn't have the stopper and so they were just falling through and a lot of people were complaining about that so i'm so happy that this has a stopper or a footer at the bottom of it right so i can get more chocolate twist it and bring it up side Sprinkles. It looks good. Pop it right. It looks so good. Okay, I'm gonna finish this. I'm gonna just speed through it though. The day has finally come. It is party day. So this morning I was sleep deprived to say the least. Okay. I was running off of like three hours of sleep, 
But I was getting nervous because I didn't know if we was going to have enough time to set up. I kept having to push back the time for my sister-in-law to come meet me to help set up. I had to run to the dollar store to get these picture frames and this rope. And then I was so nervous because I didn't know if my dad was going to finish in time for the food table. I had him make um, a wagon out of PVC pipe and he had to run up to Home Depot. So I was like, oh my gosh, is he going to finish? But it's so crazy how everything always works out. Say cheese, boo boo. Say cheese. Say cheese. Say cheese. Look up, man. You trying to hug it too? Right. Get right, yeah. Get right, yeah. Wait a minute. We ended off Yana's birthday weekend by getting her Christian. And I knew I didn't want to do it anywhere else but my grandmother's home church. I grew up in this church. My mom grew up in this church and my auntie. So this was like a no-brainer. And even though my grandmother isn't no longer with us, I wanted a piece of her to be involved in Yana's life. And I knew this would be a good way to honor her. Because one of the things that my grandmother always instilled with us was having a relationship with God. And so I'm definitely going to pass that down to Yana because it's important not only to me but also to my husband. So I'm just so grateful that we were able to do this for her and let me tell you something yana was in her own world she did not want to stay with me she didn't want me to hold her i'm like what is going on usually sometimes she want me to hold her but today she was like no ma'am okay Peter, lord as she comes into your king bless her bless his parents bless his family that's here to support her All right, you guys, so after the christening, we went to Catfish Kettle to have Sunday dinner. It was so good. It was so much food, too, and the fish was amazing, and that was pretty much it. We just chilled with the family and, yeah, ate really good. <laughs> so I thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave me a comment. Tell me your favorite part of the video down in the comments below. Also, like this video, share it with your friends, and until next time, I'll see you in my next up. All right, so y'all, we're done with the All You Can Eat buffet. We are full, she full. She full. <laughs> we are full.